Cluck, cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck. <sighs> this is what my life's come to. And hi everyone, my name is Stormy the Fulf, and today I want to talk about the doll. The cryptic Kennid, the whistling wolfo. Dolls! No, not those dolls. These dolls! A whole pack of them, or rather, a dole of them. But in all seriousness, we've got a dole lot to talk about. So what are doles? The dole is a lesser known species that has struggled to gain attention in not only the furry fandom, but the eyes of conservationist groups as well. So what's going on? Why is the dole so largely ignored? Why doesn't anyone know anything about doles? And what the heck is a dole anyway? Doles, AKA Asian dogs, Asiatic wild dogs, red wolves, whistling dogs, or if you want to be scientific and fancy, Juan Alpinus are wild, but very social animals native to Central, South, and Southeast Asia. These super sneaky pouncy doggos belong to the Canada family, alongside wolves, jackals, coyotes, and foxes. So now I want to talk about the physical characteristics of the doll. Appearance-wise, dolls take on the physical characteristics of the gray wolf and the red fox with some cat-like bone structure. They have reddish brown back fur, while the neck, chest, and underside is white fur. Fully mature doles can live up to 10 years in the wild and up to 16 in captivity. They're about the size of a German Shepherd, but with the appearance of a fox with long leggies. And thanks to those lengthy limbs, not only can they jump up to 7 feet in the air, they're avid swimmers, and these fast fluffers can also run up to 45 miles per hour outpacing both leopards and tigers. So you've got a fox-like animal that can not only run fast, but swim and jump high as well. Add another tail and they'd basically be Sonic's best friend. Am I right? Just put them in the X tornado or something right here. Yeah, perfect. The dole is one of the least studied social carnivores on this planet. The term dole is thought to mean reckless or daring based on its reported Asiatic origin. Its scientific name, Quan Alpinus, is Greek for dog mountainous. So basically, mountainous dog. So where can doles be found? Turns out they're found anywhere from Siberia in the north to the Malay Peninsula in the south. Although they have reportedly been found in North Korea as well as Pakistan. Doles prefer open spaces and are typically found in thick forest areas near riverbeds, pathways, and hills where they rest during the day. Basically, anywhere there's vegetation and water. Gotta have those resources. Their home range territories are also very large because they need to find enough prey to eat. Kinda like wolves, doles are often together in large groups, but we'll get to that in a moment. So how do doles communicate? Doles, like other dogs, will actually greet each other by happily wagging their tails. But what really makes doles so awesome is the fact they can actually whistle. Doles produce whistles resembling the calls of red foxes, sometimes referred to as a cuckoo, although it's not exactly known how doles can whistle. As a clever predator that moves in large groups, doles hunt using these high-pitched whistles that can travel over very long distances in order to coordinate a strike on their prey. This unique form of communication is also used to contact other doles, such as getting a pack of them together after a hunt or waking up others from their midday nap. Well, that's just rude. They do this in order to identify other types of animals as a way to warn others in the pack of potential predators. But doles can do more than just whistle. These adorable beans can scream, <coughs> mew, <coughs> and even cluck like a chicken. Cluck, 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 cluck. This is what my life's come to. And while doles can indeed make a multitude of noises, unlike wolves, they actually can't howl or bark. As for social behavior, doles are more social than gray wolves and more interestingly, live in clans. Not packs, clans. There's a difference. Doles don't necessarily always hunt together from the same bloodline. They may bond with doles from other bloodlines. And while wolves base their loyalty on blood relation, dole groups are often formed ad hoc with other dole families. As opposed to being territorial, they actually support each other with cooperation, intelligence, and wisdom. And unlike other canids, they prefer to use the bathroom in communal latrines. There's no evidence they actually mark their territories. 
So they're like doggos, but they're not like doggos. Hmm. Next, I want to talk about the persona side of dolls. I pinged my Twitter followers, and just as real dolls are few and far between, so are their personas. I wasn't expecting a doll lot, but come on! This here is Soa Talk. Their name takes inspiration from the World of Warcraft series, deriving from the word Loa, which can refer to godlike or spiritual entities based on the ideas and beliefs of the troll race. The word Soa Talk refers to creating things mentally. Soa Talk's design is emblazoned with facial markings meant to symbolize the six elements of purity of mind based on a story he thought up one day. Ultimately, the owner of Soatok settled on a dole because he lives with a chosen family rather than blood relatives, helping him find peace. And this is Maxim the Dole. Maxim writes, When I finally settled on making a persona, I had to decide on a species. I wanted an animal that was pretty unique. Also being interested in Russian history and culture, I found my way to the doll and fell in love. They were so adorably different and unique. They whistled, which is something I've always loved to do. Looking around the internet back when I made them, it seemed like almost nobody in the fandom had a doll persona, so I decided to go with it. And lastly, we have Mars the Dole. I wanted something that fit my personality, which is why I chose them. They're also really small, which I am too. And the behavior of them being like both a cat and a dog in some aspect was really awesome because I've always felt torn between the two. Dolls were the perfect middle. Their fierce attitude for their size was also really admirable. Finding out something so small could take down a tiger felt like a good metaphor for a lot of the things I've been through in my life. There's, if there's one thing I've learned as a tall doggo, don't mess with short people. <laughs> don't underestimate them. <laughs> my persona has become a really big part of me and at the same time became the expression of all my strengths. Beyond that, I was only able to locate a few other dolsonas. My hope is that after you finish watching this video, maybe it'll inspire you to make one as well. I guess that means I should make one. Stormy makes a doll persona, shenanigans ensue. You won't believe what happens next. It's perfect clickbait material. So why should you get a doll? And by that I mean a persona atop, or just drawing your own. Don't actually try to domesticate a real life doll. That, that, that is if you could even find one to begin with. I like to think of dolls as supercharged overclock fox wolf hybrids because they sure do look an awful lot like what a fulf would look like. Hmm. If fulfs were real, they'd definitely be dolls and fulfs are genetic impossible to make, but dolls in fact do exist in the real world. Oh no. Wait a second. D does that mean- Oh my god! <laughs> that- that's impossible. That can't happen. I'm hallucinating. I'm dehydrated. Hydrate or dihydrate. <laughs> At a glance, your doll might look like another fox or a wolf to the untrained furry eye. But little do they know, your Quan Alpinus is the sleeper hit of the Canidae family. The underdog of underdogs. It even has its very own exclusive genus. I mean, how cool is that? So in the real world, why are dolls so hecking rare? Dolls, unfortunately, are under the threat of extinction. While the dole might appear to be a very clever species on the surface that's dangerous in packs, they've become more endangered than tigers, with many conservationist groups sadly turning a blind eye. They're a forgotten predator, and according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List, there are only 949 to around 2200 mature doles known to currently exist. And compared to other creatures in the animal kingdom, little is known about doles for a multitude of reasons. With all that information in mind, you'd think there'd be efforts to protect the species, right? Conservation biologist Kate Jenks writes, Compared to a tiger, a doll is not very sexy. They tend to get overlooked by scientists and conservationists that are more interested in tigers and leopards that live in the same area. The lack of interest kind of reminds me of how the media will obsess with only popular trends because they know that always brings in the views. Hmm. Anyway, ah! Oops, spilled the tea. 
Compounding all of these issues, the dole suffers from negative local perception and is seen as a pest. Rampant deforestation has also contributed to their loss in population. And because of the dole's remote habitat, population scarcity, and just a general lack of interest by most animal scientists, their future as a species remains unclear. But for the few conservationists interested in pursuing the dole, it's an exciting challenge. Jan Kamler states, I consider doles the most extreme canid, given their unique morphological and behavioral traits, such as including specialized teeth for hypercarnivory. Basically, doles are super mega ultra deluxe big meat eaters. They eat all the meat. If it has meat, they are going to eat. And because the dole is so overlooked by scientists and the media in general, it kind of makes sense where there are so few dole personas to start with. All of this is really unfortunate as the dole is quite a unique canid with some wild characteristics. There's still so much we don't know about the dole, so if you know something that I should have mentioned, please let me know in the comments below. This is one of the most difficult scripts I've ever worked on, and I am not an animal scientist or biologist by any stretch of the imagination. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and well, yeah. This is Stormy the Dole signing out. Until next time, bye bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed this dilly dally of a video. A dole lot of work went into this project. Shout out to Silver Moon Howler who has supported me since July 2018. And if you'd like to join this squad for perks like early access to vids and more, consider supporting me on my Patreon.